In the, the vise, I've got a, a Hanak 230 DL size 10. It'll go in a 12 as well, but 10's my standard size for this particular fly, for this sussy fly. Um, and I'm going to be using a an eight oh red thread, orange thread. I'll work on this one as well, actually. But eight oh red, winding a bit of thread, stop us at the point there. Back up, stopping behind the eye. And I've got these five mil. These are red booby eyes, and all I do is I I round the end off with scissors. And then, I'll just show you that. I come in with a, a lighter and I just put a little bit of heat to that and it creates a nice smooth top, like a tic tac. And then cut everything at a 45 degree angle. If you put it on the hook this way, this cocks up and the fly doesn't sit right. So you're looking to put it onto your angle slopes down the hook shank, basically to the end of the thread. And you've got to tie it in my pinching loop, just lock it in place, there, and then come down the hook shank. Now what you'll get with this is, it'll want to go to one side, like it has there. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. But just get all this bedded in, nice and tight. A little, you've got a natural taper there as well with the foam. So to stop this going to one side, bring your fly in front and then back. So you're winding in opposite turns. And that keeps everything straight. Back, round the eye, and you're back in your normal tying in position. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how it works. So to rib this up, for very little in the way of bulk, is this oval gold. And you use this oval gold tinsel in traditional salmon flies, wet flies, etc. But it's very, very light and it's great for ribbing up through this stuff. So tighten on that side of the hook shank. Again, I'm looking at this taper all the time, making sure I'm happy. I can taper more with the with the dubbing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of wax. Because this is all seals for, I'm going to add a little bit of wax to my tying thread. So this mix is my my, sorry, Rutland blend, and it's sunburst yellow, orange and red. Rutland blend. That's the one that I use. And it's more red than yellow. It's like, I'm trying to remember. 50 red, 50 red, 30 orange, 20 yellow. This is a mix, and I just blend it up in a coffee blender. So I give myself a generous amount here. And I'm going to dub this on to my thread. Dub it nice and tight. Every time you take a turn, we can dub, we can spin. Sorry. So, starting at the rear, wind that up. Keeping in mind that taper. It's just such a good colour, this. Keep it in mind that taper. So, stop there. I'm going to put a little bit in here. So, what I will do is I'll stick a little whip finish in here. Just now, when it's done, it's out of the way. I'm then going to rib the oval tinsel up and open turns, pulling tight into the dubbing. I only want about three or four wraps of this stuff. But it really, really makes a difference. And then secure your tying thread. Couple of wraps here. Yeah. 
Move my scissors. Trim it nice and tight. Now, a fly similar to this was shown to me years ago by John Emerson. And you look at it and you think, well, what's that supposed to represent? And the honest answer is, I don't know. However, it works. I've got here like a, a badger hackle with white tips. And I want a really generous clump of that. Just marry everything up. And I just want to put that along the back onto my dubbing. It just kicks up a little tiny bit. I'm going to tidy all that up in a minute with some some more dubbing. But just a little bit, that's it. It's splayed. And it sits over the back of the fly. Um, it just works really well on this fly. You know how some flies, you look at things and you think, well, what's the point in that? However, I was shown it ages ago. And on suspender flies, hitting with foam, it just, it works. Simple. You can't even argue with that. Come in, trim away the, the excess, and again, a little bit more wax, and then a little bit more dubbing, building up this thorax area. So you want to go over this a couple of times. Tight rope, tight, tight rope. Right up behind that. You can see the shape appearing now. So you've got a bulkier thorax, just a tiny little bit more. Again, keeping it tight. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Nice and tight there. Right up, so you've got that shape. And then in front of the foam, pull all your fibers back. And then we've got a secure well whip finish. Secure, whip finish. What I tend to do with my dry flies, even though this isn't a dry, it's a suspender, it's just two whip finishes, and that's that fly solid. Um, what I might do is come in, you can see the shape and the general profile, or what I might do is come in with a little bit of Velcro and tease some out through the body. Now that'll sit like that quite happily. Look at that for a fly. Absolute cracker. And there he is. That's my um, simple suspender. You can tie it in different colours obviously, but this is the one that works for me in the particular water that I fished out, which is Rutland. Works really well in Pittsford. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Take care and bye-bye.